Hi everybody, I'm Kristen Damro. I am a contemporary choreographer and dance instructor from San Francisco. Thanks so much for checking out our online contemporary movement class. This class is modified for a small space so you can keep moving around with an intermediate level. We're gonna get started on the floor with a body scan and then an improvisation. So let's get down. All right, everybody, just take a moment. Any little shifts, stretches that your body would like to do today we're kind of focusing on the reaction in our body, how we really notice and translate moves. So really just start to notice that relationship here as you start to investigate your body. And then we're gonna start to find stillness in the next position, just taking a moment let your body sink and melt towards the floor, I encourage you to close your eyes. Start to find your breath. Feeling that gentle reaction of the expansion and contraction of your lungs, diaphragm, rib cage to the rest of your body. And I welcome you to join in three breaths. And on your next exhale, let out all your air. Take a full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more together, inhale. And exhale. Let your breath come back to a pace that feels full, supported to you. Continuing to feel this relationship of the exhale reaction in the body, letting it sink deeper towards the floor as we move on into our body scan. Staying in stillness, we're going to imagine that the body has a neutral color. It could be a gray, a black, a clear, a white, anything you can sort of paint um, a color onto today. So we're going to start to let that other color, so start to imagine a secondary color, that's gonna to start to pour over the body, feeling this sort of seamless pouring reaction through all of our connection points. So just take a moment to settle back into that neutral color of your body. And let's start at the crown of the head. Yeah, your color starts to pour over the crown, over the forehead, eyebrows, fills over your face, your eye sockets, your nose, your lips, your jawline. It continues to spread over the ears, over the back of the head, and then it continues from that jawline over the front of the neck. Maybe that color even gives an opportunity to feel a weighted sensation through the body as it continues to drift and pour, wrapping around the neck, feeling that full circumference all the way connected back to the cervical spine. Maybe even some of it sort of drifts past that neck towards the floor, feeling that relationship to gravity. It continues down into the chest, feeling a pouring sensation from the sternum across the pectorals, clavicle bones, wraps over the shoulders, really letting go of those traps, finding some more length in the neck. It continues into that back body, melting down past the scapula. I like to imagine here that it even continues down past the scapula, continuing towards the pelvis as we continue to feel that upper body pours across the shoulder sockets, really feeling that weight continues to circle around and drip and melt past that socket and continues down over the bicep, wrapping around the full circumference of the arm. As it makes its way down to the crease of the elbow, maybe it kind of pools and settles there. It continues out the forearm, all the way out to the wrist, filling up the palms, kind of spreading between the fingers and melting back towards the floor, feeling it kind of seep underneath the arm as well. And just bring your focus back towards your low ribs. Start to feel that color sort of melt down through over the low ribs, really feeling that connection to the diaphragm and those upper abdominals. They kind of melt and continue to go past the rib cage, all the way over the guts, the belly center. Feel a little weight there. Using that as an opportunity to expand out the low back. Again, your color continues and pours all the way into that back body. Maybe again, connects to the floor as you feel your gentle arch lifted off the floor. 
continues over the top of the pelvis from pubic bone to crest of the hips, wrapping over those sides of the hips, really feeling the glutes connecting to the floor, all the way back into those sits bones, even into the SI joint a little bit higher. Then it flows over the top of the legs, again, like the upper arms, feeling that circumference of the legs, that color continuing over the quads, hamstrings, down towards the knees. It continues over the shin and the calf muscle, making its way to the ankles, and just feeling it wrap around that all the way down towards the Achilles. It starts to fill up the soles of the feet from the heels to the ball mounts to those toes. Feeling a nice softening through the arches and feel that color sort of spill and pour out the soles of the feet. Just use another moment to feel this color kind of swirling, moving around the body. And we'll start to spread and move around this color. Starting with those edges. Maybe you start to feel it pour past your body as you start to move, it kind of seeps out. Or really sticking with that idea of internal space, colored up, good. Wrist ankles. Starting to notice this reaction through the rest of the body as you start to articulate and move from these specific places. Elbows meet. Yeah. 
contraction and reinitiate. What does it take within the body to realize that pause and then reactivate? Yes. Last idea to play with everybody, let it open up. Take a little walk. Good. So lovely, everyone. We're going to shift on into a spine warm up. We're going to stand nice and wide. I'm going to talk us through. We're going to bonk one, a two, little rebound, three, a four, send it back, parallel, little arch and extend forward, lengthen spine, curve the guts, then drop it, head to the head, one plie, and a stretch. Again, and a stretch. Plant your hands, hop it back. Swivel in, plie the arm. Swivel in and press. Long one more time. Swivel to the floor. Reach the body and fold, fold, fold. Reach the body and fold. Hands, center, press one, and over. Two, swing, catch, stay, roll up and arch it down, press downward dog. And then take the right leg to the side and then move it around. Dance or choice, stretch, then cut it under the left. Woo. Get yourself close, feel that support. Lift up, 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 whole little hip stretch and peel out. Then we go to the other side. So first thing is just a bonk. Give yourself a little tactile smack into your body four times. On the fifth time, you're wrapping to that right side. You're gonna step to parallel here, here, here. Yeah, and then you're gonna arch and rotate. So feeling that arm rotating and extending through the spine. Then reach forward, long spine, flat back. Low back, low belly engages. Then feel that curve, let it go rebound, let the head bobble. Two quicker plies today. Hands down, hop back. Now for this, everybody, I'm really firing up the arms. Feeling the reaction through the spine, it can look different every time. Third time, you're gonna lower on down to that right hip. This can be whatever you want, yeah. I'm taking two juicy little swims with my body and curl in. I'm keeping that right arm under me, so when I come up, I can push. Once, twice, gather the arm, swing the legs, yeah. It's gonna come back later for a floor work, so really feel that active through the torso, arms, to swing your legs. One roll up, tail to head. Use this arch to find a press through the top of your feet to downward dog, yeah? Take that leg to the side, really focusing on that crease in the hip first, everybody. Then you can move it around. Take it where you like, stretch it out, move it out. Then that right leg is gonna cross under the left. It's gonna kind of scoop close. You're gonna roll up, grab that, really relax this femur bone into the socket, then a little slingshot to step side. Then we wrap four, three, two, one, side stretch, parallel, reach, reach, curve, arch, long spine real quick through here one more time. Draw a bobble, two plies, hop back, swivel the left, right, left, lower, 
Arching, swimming, feel good. Open up the body, hands under, swing once. Swing twice, hands sweep under catch. Roll up, arch down, downward dog, leg side, stretching, cut under, gather, 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 feel it. Oh, yeah? Then we'll move around, improvise. Feel the reaction in your body, playing with little isolation stopping or continual flow. So first side, second side, improv. We'll go another round with an improvisation and balance at the end, okay? Let's do it. Get nice and wide, ready. Bonk it to the right. Reach forward. Belly curve, let it drop.
Dig in. And down. Open. Find the floor, push. Feel this reaction of the warmth of the moving in your body. Yeah. Feel taller, more open. See where you can let go of any compression. Join me. Take a demi. Take a float. Good. Take a demi. Take a float. Simple releve today. Find a balance. Find a support. Give a little reaction in your body. Just the littlest press littlest fold. Notice how that might start to change your balance or give you some options to play in. Just a couple more. Staying on releve soft soles. Good. Yep. And start to come back to a neutral place. Feel steady, feel strong. Arms can be to the sides or up. Oh, there we go. Good, and let those heels slowly settle down towards the floor. Give it a little shake, a roo. Good, everyone. Whew. Okay, socket warm up is next. Getting a little bit deeper into our shoulders and hips here. We're gonna go forward, back, forward, back, forward, up, down, up, down, and side. In, arm, in, reach, press, swivel, catch. Two, three, four, arm paddle back, run the jump, fold in, over, fall, catch, fall, up, back, swivel into fourth, press, releve, fall through the body and walk into space. I'm gonna stay one time here and then I'll flip to teacher zone. So this first thing, huh, huh, I'm really letting it flop, yeah? And I'm feeling a concave and opening in my chest as I go. So three, you go forward, back, forward, back, forward. You go up, down, up, down. So that one I'm really finding the shrug press, shrug press. Then I'm gonna take my left shoulder, my left upper arm, my full forearm, and then I'm coming right to center. Then I'm gonna sink on that side. So feeling that hip socket peel and that rotation from my full arm. Bum, bum. Then I'm gonna push, trying to keep my pelvis to the front, wringing out the guts, two, three. When I switch to the fourth, I'm gonna drop over that right leg, sink. Then I'm gonna replace my right leg down and I'm gonna paddle back. Rond de jam, swivel, open, forward, catch, forward, lift up with the left knee, slide it back to fourth, rotate, swivel, back to a fourth position on your diagonal. Lift, releve, as my arms drop, I'm gonna push off, whoo, balance, and then walk into space. I'm gonna flip a room for you. So we're here, everybody, we're gonna go forward and back, and forward and back, Forward and up, down, up, down, left, and middle arm, and full arm, hit, sink, and peel. Swish one, a two, a three, a four. Replace, paddle, round the jump, swivel, overstep, fall, push, up, fall, push, left knee, sink, 
Swivel, fourth plie, press, relevate, feel that rotation, wide open front pelvis, arms will be up and you'll just go drop and fall forward, catching the balance wherever you can as you go. I want to go into the second side right away. Let's do it. So one and two and three, up, down, up, down, shoulder, upper, and push, sink, press, reach, two, three. We're going over the left leg this time. Paddle the right leg back. Right leg, grand jambe, swivel. You swivel and you go back to your front. Fall forward, one, and two, catch, back, rotate, four. Yeah, press, releve. Take that whole package deal as you drop your arms and go, whoop. Oh, I didn't get there. Try that again. Ha! Huh. Yes, there we go. And then walk as you go. Take that full back side with you up into place. I want to go right, left. Little breather, right, left. You should also be able to do all those rolls in a compact space as you circle around yourself. So I'm going to talk through it facing your direction right away here. So you're stepping to the side and you're folding in, okay? And then you're going to swing your pelvis through on your right hip and then you're going to go left hip switch. I'm going to go over that left shin and I'm going to press over the top of my foot and lower down. Big crease. Drop the right leg. I'm gonna sweep over top. I can always move my pelvis a little bit 
if your space is limited. Extend the legs. You're gonna catch your upstage leg and you're gonna sweep your right leg downstage. It's gonna cause you to roll on your back. Again, you can keep it compact. Fold your right leg in facing your upstage space and step on your left. You're gonna do a little coffee grind. Press around, then here's that little child's pose swivel. I'm gonna bonk my right to my left and I'm gonna find the front. That left leg is gonna sweep up into a little side inversion lower. I'm gonna compress my body. I'm gonna push over my right shin to the left, over to the right, gather the left in, and just peel it up in space. I think we should do that again. So we swivel, and if you can, slide right hip to the left. Over left shin, sweep the arm to the side and lower down. On your back, over top, wide legs reach and lift. Tuck the left, swing the right, roll on your back, upstage sit. Over right shin, step on the left, coffee grind and step under. Hands to the inside, knock the knees, sweep the left up and lower. Gather in, step wide, stay low with the pole of the pelvis to gather it in to shift and just peel it up in space. I'm gonna break down one more time. A lot of directional things, okay? Let's just get into it. Rotate. If you have the floor to slide, give it a little scoop. If you don't, you can just tuck it under and roll the pelvis. Go over that left shin, you should be facing your upstage space. I'm gonna push over the top of the right left foot and bring it down, sink through the right. Catch your body down. Again, shift your pelvis if you need. Small straddle, this isn't big, everybody. Lean into your right hand towards the front. Gather the left foot under and sweep. Again, it can be small, slidey glidey. Shift over that right shin. Step on the left. Coffee grind around. Tuck the left. Now I'm facing my upstage left diagonal from your facing. Hands go to the middle, I go knock, knock. I sweep that left leg, I get my right forearm under me. I tuck my toes and I go up, extend long. Then you're gonna curl in, press, drop the pelvis, gather, glide up, and go down. There's a lot to think about in this one, so I wanna do that first side three times with music. Nice rolling three to keep you moving. Pressing over that top of the foot, 
Hinge to your front space. Fold the left knee towards the floor. Sweep around on your back. Using the slide glide, legs long. Tuck your upstage leg. Sweep your downstage leg. Roll on your back. Sit up to the back space. So you're tucking your left knee. Right sole is on the floor. You're gonna swing your head half copy to the left leg. Step over it with the right to face, almost your upstage. Here we are on your left diagonal. Hands to the center, you're gonna swing left, right. Right's gonna go to your little shoulder stand. Fold the legs in, step. Feel that reaction of the spine to release the left hip. Right hip heels up. Hope we're getting there. I'm going again. Rotate, slide through, hip, bonk, bonk, and fold over and up, down into space. So on your back, straddle small with the leg, float it up, swing it out. On your back again, over left shin, swing, coffee, grind, swivel, hands, legs, sweep the right, up, extend, fold in, a step, a step, a gather, a up. Okay, we're getting low to the floor, everybody, today. If you need to, rewind, otherwise we're going left side three times with music. All right, reactions through the body. Five, six, fold, go, fold, hip, hip, up. jump as your floor will let you. So peel out, flick, step, step. And as I'm stepping, my hands are coming to my upstage hip. Yeah, one more time there. Open, fold, flick, step, step. I'm going to sweep and catch my downstage hand, and I'm going to give a little swivel ribs. Then I'm going to face upstage. Yeah, I'm going to step with my right. I'm going to scoop my right arm, kick my left leg, and carve through. Then I'm going to hinge fold in, and the top of my hand is facing my sternum. Yeah? I'm going to gather my left leg. Right leg is going to coupe and fall upstage. Then I'm going to go guts, knee, through, break. Again, we go guts, knee, through, break. That's your left knee breaks. Then from there, I'm gliding the pelvis. I'm going to find an inversion with the pike leg. As I come out, I'm going to take that left leg and it's going to poke behind me and then I'm going to peel my left shoulder to bring me up into space. 
again. We go peel, fold, flick, step, step, over, swing around, and leg carve through. Sternum over, top, fold, guts, knee through, break, step, up, hip, carve back, shoulder through. Woo, there's a lot going on in that torso with this phrase. One more time. Out, fold, cut, left, right. Little party arms here. Keep facing your upstage, scoop the right, kick the left, dive through, carve. Cut the left behind, coupe the right, fall upstage. Go twist guts. So I'm pushing off those right toes, then I go knee, down, break. And I'm more so thinking of that left leg. Glide the pelvis, push it up, cross behind, shoulder pull, fall away. Let's go right ahead and do that first side, three rounds. fingertips, right leg goes, carve, knuckles to sternum. Sweep the right leg around, coupe fall this way, your upstage corner. Then you're gonna go guts, knee, down, break. Feel this low glide. Use that crease, everybody. Push, fold that leg in close. Fold it close, put it back up. Your shoulder rebounds you out of that cross. I'm going again. Out, fold, knock, step, step, swing, through, up, stage, leg, fold, over, coupe, fall, guts, knee, drop, bend, fold, up, catch, down, shoulder, walk it out. Okay, left side, it's happening. Three rounds. All right, people. Five, six, seven, go. Scoop. Turn around. Fall, guts, knee, down, break. Hips up. Cross it out and peel it through. Uh-huh. Find your front again. One, three, five, six, second round, go. Create the space reaction. Good. In. Coupe fall. Guts. Hop, 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 hop. Break. Peel. All right, last round. Get ready. A one, a three, a five, six. We go. Peel, press, cut. Rips. Me up, down, break. Back, shoulder. That is it. Good. All right, friends, we have made it to the final combination. We are going to put all those chunks together. But first, I'll give you a look and then we'll break down. Start a little shoulder play on your own.
start with a little shoulder investigation. It can be whatever you want, just thinking of these different reactions through your body. So we're here facing the back with our shoulders. You have about an eight. One, two to let it rock. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Reach your right, peel it open. Go one, two, two to the right. Press step back, round the jump, forward swing. Over the top, one fall forward, then step out with your left to rotate for the floor. You go down, swivel pelvis over the right. Press through, left drop down, sweep around, straddle out and catch it under. Sweep around, upstage, tuck the left, swing it around, gather shins, little bump ball, catch right leg, go up, to go down. Fold it in, standing up, and go right away to the left side. In, sweep around, and scoop leg back, Coop it around and fall and in. Guts, knee, drop and shift. Float up and back, shoulder through. Maybe one more slow <laughs> breakdown for directions. So shoulder, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reach the right arm, rotate. Swing right, left, drape over the right. Replace the legs, left goes back, round the jump, swim, swivel. Take a step forward, the step out, rotate. Go right away, slide on the left hip to the right hip, tuck, up and over, catch through, fall down, stay. Sweep around, legs long, catch the right shin, sweep the left. Go all the way around, up to the squat, swing the left leg, catch the right around, bonk, bonk, left, right, right leg, swing, shoulder stand, lengthen, gather it in, step sweep, take one step to kick it out. Swivel around, scoop the left arm, right leg goes, reach, coupe around, fall up stage, push off that left leg, guts, knee, down, break, press, lift, slice it back, come up, pull with that right shoulder to bring you up into space. First side, three times. Let it play on your own.
seconds hide. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Walking through. So we'll do our shoulders. We have our left arm sink. One, two, left side. Paddle back, round the jump. One, rotate, fall forward. Stand up, fold into your floor. Slide through, bonk, bonk. Shift over, up over top. Down, sweep around. Gather legs. Catch the left leg under, sweep the right. All the way around to tuck the right, sit. Right leg, coffee drive, step over with the left. Bonk, bonk, left leg goes this time up and down. Gather in, step, step open, kick out the left. Swivel around, up stage, reach, over coupe, fall, guts, knee, land, shift, shift, press, crease, wee, back, in, walk. Okay, if you need to, go back, otherwise, three times to close out class. the reaction of your feet towards the floor. Feeling how that groundedness can lengthen out any traction in your spine. Find a place to stand. Joining together. Just take that first bonk. Quiet in the body. Oh. Bringing out the spine. Finding some length through the top of the head. Start to walk the feet in. Let those arms just turn into a little sway. And quiets down. Good. Take a big breath in, everyone. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, curve. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arms up, stay up. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful dancing, everyone. Thank you so much for taking class. Take it again as much as you want. If you do have the means to donate, there is a way to do that on my website, kristendamro.com slash online dash class. Thank you so much for dancing. Until next time, see you then.